I got a grilled cheese. This is my first time getting a grilled cheese from uh, Starbucks. And I got me a large coffee. Y'all, I dropped some toothpaste on my dang sweater this morning. So that's my little dot right there. I got a large coffee today. I don't normally get a coffee this big, but I feel like I needed it. But yeah. They didn't give me no. Um, they didn't give me no napkins. Is this sourdough bread? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm about to finish eating. Um, and then I got to go to a doctor's appointment. I'm trying to stall some time. That's why I was like, let me get something to eat and drink my coffee. I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Why y'all never tell me about the grilled cheese from Starbucks? I've been asleep on that. That grilled cheese tastes so good. I thought it was just gonna be a regular. Who haven't had a grilled cheese sandwich? That's what I thought it was gonna be. But it tastes so good, y'all. Um, <clears throat> it's nice and buttery and stuff. What do y'all be getting? Do y'all go to Starbucks? I'm sure a lot of y'all probably that watch me go to Starbucks. But what do y'all get from Starbucks? I get a basic iced coffee, um, five, excuse me, five pumps of vanilla sweetener, five pumps of vanilla sweetener, and extra oat milk. That's what I've been getting in my iced coffees. Today, I got a large though, so it don't really taste that good. It don't really taste that sweet. But, um... I would say like two weeks ago, Starbucks had this thing where if you get a Christmas um, drink that they were giving out the little cups, I was so excited and I was like, I need to give me a Starbucks cup. So I went and I just told the girl to pick um, what drink she thought was best. I can't even remember what she actually gave me, uh, but it was actually really, really good. I wish I do remember because I would get that again, but I only went to Starbucks so I can get the cup, but you have to pick like a holiday um, drink. So I think that was cool. Um, I'll probably show y'all the cup. Really didn't even know Starbucks opened that early because they said that they um, been giving our cups. People been in the line since like four or five o'clock and I'm like, what? I didn't know y'all was open that early, but um yeah i was too excited i was determined i went inside instead of waiting in the line i went inside and i was like i gotta get me a free cup so let me know maybe i'll try some of y'all starbucks drinks um on my vlogs or whatever so let me know what y'all be getting what's good i'm more of a um i like sweet drinks i like sweet but not like overly sweet drinks um but yeah and like pastries and stuff like that. Uh, excuse me. I eat sweets here and there, but I don't eat like stuff that's like jelly donuts, stuff that's filled. I don't like that, that kind of stuff. But y'all let me know what drinks y'all um, drink. Yeah. So call y'all back in a little bit. I gotta go to my appointment. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm in my room. Um, about to wrap some more gifts. I just picked them up from um the amazon pickup and my son is home now so that's why i got my door closed i'm about to wrap these up put these under the tree um i think i got some more stuff coming tomorrow sunday monday and tuesday if i'm not mistaken so yeah i stopped at the where i go dollar general i got some bags some little um bags which i probably should have went there in the first place to get these actually when i did go um to look for a calendar they didn't have these so needed some more of these so i'm about to wrap this stuff up wish i could show y'all i'm so excited uh it's crazy when you wait to the last minute but 
I'm happy that I was able to get um, everything that my son wanted. Um, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Like, I'm truly blessed. So I really didn't know how I was going to get it done. Um, and, you know, still pay bills and all that kind of stuff. But God helped me. Um, uh, he made, literally, God made a way for me. Seriously. Literally, God made a way for me. And, whew. I appreciate it so much. I really do. So I'm excited that my son's going to have a smile on his face. He better. I'm going to beat him up, y'all. I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. Y'all know I had a hat on because I had a bad hair day today. I didn't do my hair. But uh, I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. We cannot do this another time. We cannot do this another time. You need to be honest with me. When were you thinking? I'm telling you all this. I can't even believe it. All this all this time we didn't get and you had to keep this engagement a secret and you're not telling me that you have a I'm daughter. sorry like I'm y'all y'all know I told y'all about um Ryan Secrets so that's what it was it was the Ryan's Roses um that I listened to in the morning when I take my son to school girl tell me why so this guy he sent Rose. Well, you could tell he was kind of suspicious, like asking how did they get his number, you know, blah blah blah. He was like, "Yeah, I want to, I want to send some roses to um, blah blah blah," and uh, and I want the note to say, "Love, mom and dad." So then Ryan Seacrest popped in. He was like, "Hello, you're you're being broadcast on the radio, and um, who is so and so?" And he was like who is this you know like that's my daughter and they was like we got your fiance on the phone girl why was him and his fiance together for almost two years and she didn't even know he had a kid and his kid is nine i'm done so when y'all see me laughing i wasn't laughing like laugh at my pain it's just like girl these people was whoo I don't know. I don't know what. But he and then he tried to clean it up by saying that him and his um, child's mother have like a co-parenting system. So I guess his daughter still believed that his parents, are, her parents, are still together. But he engaged to somebody else. Girl. Mm -mm. Okay, let me tell y'all about my drink today. I told y'all I had got this. Um, this girl recommended this to me. Uh, when they were giving away free cups at Starbucks. What is this called? I gotta, um, look at my receipts. Do, 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 do. This is called the Ice Chestnut Parlene Latte. And when I first got it, I got a small because I was only going to get a cup. But it tastes pretty good, y'all. It's not too sweet. It's the right enough sweet. It tastes like coffee. It tastes pretty good. So, yeah. I got some errands to run today. Um, I got a Walmart pickup. Walmart should sponsor me at this point because I always tell y'all I'm going to Walmart. Girl, <laughs> why this dude? Um, so he put up before me doing my pickup, right? Well, I wouldn't even say a long, it's a few seconds, like literally. He was just closer to the little spot or whatever. So then I pulled up and I signed in, but the lady brought my order out first. Why when I'm trying to help her put my stuff in my trunk, he right, he walked right up, honey. And he said, um, I have an order. No, he said, I need to go. I have an order for so-and-so. <laughs> I'm like, and the lady was like, uh, and I was talking to her cause she was, I was like, how are you? You know? And she was like, my first day back or whatever. And I'm like, oh, wow. And she said she's been going for, for like a month. I'm like, friend, we all need to go, friend. That was just rude to me. But I started laughing. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> the first thing he said is, um, um, I need to go. I have an order for so-and-so. And she was like, and who are you? I'm done. I am done, honey. He said, don't play with me. He said, I got to go, girl. Hurry up. Get my stuff out. <laughs> I'm about to go to my P.O. box right now, y'all, because I have a few um, orders that I couldn't do for the Amazon pickup. So I'm going to pick that up, and then I need to go to an Amazon locker to pick those orders up, too. So, yeah. So what y'all think about the Ryan Seacrest thing? Y'all let me know. Um, so basically, they was he was asking 
can the dude redeem himself like and they still be together i don't know that's like the tough cookie to swallow or however they say it like not only did you lie to me about having a child but i will feel some kind of way as the child as well like your your kid is is older like years older that's not even something that you will forget and the fact that y'all been together almost two years i just think that that's like super that's super wrong but let me know what y'all think Do, can he you know make up for it um or what but i don't know that would be it depends on since i have no ties with the person i don't know who he is but it depends on our relationship because that's crazy you you denied your child like that's like you you you're hiding having a kid to everybody or like if i was a child feel some type of way you don't want to tell your significant other that you know about me mm -mm, that's foul i'm not feeling that at all as the woman i don't know uh what she gonna do but they were saying that um he can redeem himself by you know making it up to her having a public relationship i mean um wedding i know love it's a lot of things there's a lot of stuff that i did for love and sacrifice and things that i said that i wouldn't take i don't know but it's something about kids that i don't play with you know even with myself i feel like when you have a child with somebody me personally um i could forgive you for cheating on me but you not being responsible for your child that hits something that triggers something in me that's totally different i can't forgive you for that not being responsible or um not acknowledging that you have a child that's something that i couldn't come back from to be in a relationship with you what you do to me as far as cheating i can make the choice to be with you or forgive you and stuff like that but when it comes to children i don't play them type of games like i'm cool cool okay y'all change your plans uh-oh i'm about to go home <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I could laugh about it now. I'm so freaking embarrassed. Like, I really don't even want to tell y'all. But I love y'all. I'm going to tell y'all anyway. So, I'm walking into the post office, right? <laughs> All this stuff that I'm... I don't know. I'm so embarrassed to say, y'all. Oh my God. So, I'm walking in the post office. And I'm moving quick. I told y'all in a lot of my vlogs... I gotta stop rushing, right? So, um, I put my phone out because I wanted to get some vlog footage of me like walking in there, right? Like my actual feet. I'm stepping over the curb, but I didn't lift, I didn't even look at the curb, but I knew it was there. So I didn't lift my foot up enough and it caught me, y'all, and I fell. Can you believe that? I fell on the sidewalk into a wall. Like, I'm so thankful that I didn't break my neck or anything in my body. I fell on my left side. Um, and this is the result, y'all. This is what happened. I got a little scrape right there. My arm kind of hurt. But this is what just happened to me, y'all. I fell at the post office. Um, my hand is stinging. My thumb is stinging. This guy just helped me, like... I'm, I really appreciate it. And I told him when he helped me up, I was like so embarrassed that I fell, y'all. I really was now that I'm like laughing it off. But to think about it, it was so serious. You know, that was a serious thing. Like, I really feel I could not catch myself. I tried to and my hand slid on the wall and that's how my hand scraped. But um, this guy helped me. He came and asked me, do I need help? And I was like, thank you so much. And... He, like, picked me up off the ground. And I was like, wow. Like, I just was shooken up by the whole thing. Like, how the heck did I fall? And then when I see my hand, I'm like, what the? What did I do? What is going on? And I told him, I said, I'm actually kind of embarrassed. I, and I was debating because it was a whole bunch of people out there, y'all. I was debating if I was still going to go inside of the, um, the post office. It was like... <laughs> I was like, I don't even know if I want to go in here anymore. But I was like, forget that, girl. You got stuff to do. Get up. Dust yourself off. You know, if if anybody laughed. I didn't see nobody laughing. But if anybody laughed, 
I mean, I actually hurt myself, so it's a difference. I'm laughing at myself now because that was funny and I was embarrassed as hell. Oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to tell y'all, but I love y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. <laughs> now imagine if I would have got that on my video, y'all. My hand is hurting right now. Like, I don't even know what to do. Oh my goodness. I just hope that I don't be sore because all of my left side is messed up. I scraped up my boots and everything. <laughs> I hope y'all get a good laugh out of this because I'm not taking this out. I'm going to let y'all know I really feel like I really did in my mind but get my head. Like, wow. So I need to go home and clean this up. But when I walked out, the guy was still in there. And I just appreciated that. I was thinking about, I'm like, dang, I'm embarrassed. But I'm like, I gotta shake it off. Like, so what? You know? Like, I'm a big dog. I feel. <laughs> um, but when I left out, I had to say something else to him. You know, I told him, and I said, thank you so much. And I know it's COVID and all that, but he actually grabbed my hand and pulled me off of that ground, girl. Because I was so shooken up. I just kept saying, oh my God, oh my God. After I got up and started walking, and my head, I'm surprised my hat didn't mess up. My head actually hit the side of the wall, but I think my arm braced it. Um, so it didn't hit like super hard. But I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, dang, I literally almost got hurt. I was thinking about so many things, you know, my child. Like, I'm like, damn. But anyways, and I left and I said, I thank you so much. I really appreciate that because I do. And he was like, um, he was like no problem he said don't let this affect you don't let this affect your day like keep pushing and i said i thank you i appreciate you i don't know y'all it got me a little emotional i love when people are so are just kind it is what it is it's life you know but um yeah i'm good i'm thankful that it could have been worse than that because i literally fell into the brick wall it's crazy but um so, I'm about to go home, y'all. I'm not going to let it mess up my day. I got to stop rushing and pay attention. <laughs> I'm trying to get some vlog footage and my ass tripped on the damn thing. <laughs> y'all, so y'all get a laugh out of this. I'm good. Don't feel bad. <laughs> we can laugh together, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all thumbs this video up since I'm telling y'all I feel because I didn't even have to tell y'all I could have just went along about my day, but I just feel like now I can laugh it off because that was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. That's exactly what she just told me because I just called her. That was the laugh for the day, but <laughs> Like you pranking, like I know this is a prank. You always prank. Right? No, I literally serious, feel. Huh? Yes, I feel. Cause I still think you're serious, but okay. You say you are. What can I say? Right? Do you want me to call you on video and show you my hand? I mean, I mean, I believe you. You know, I don't want to make like, oh, I don't believe you. Show proof. You know what I'm saying? Let me see the receipts. I like, told the dude. Good. I said I'm actually <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> remember i told him i said thank you again before i left and he was like don't let that mess up your day well that was good that was a cool dude yeah he what really that really was you, that was gonna happen he, he, that was the right person right exactly um i just got the phone my mom i called my grandmother and my mom my grandmother fell and broke her wrist um some months ago i think it was the beginning of this year y'all so i had to call her and let her know girl that i feel and um i was laughing i made a joke out of it of course because it's funny i cleaned myself up i wrapped myself up uh i got a bruise on my arm right here like my arm is tender i have some little scratches right here that you can't really see if i didn't have my sweater on I, it probably would have went deeper i'm feeling all right i feel like i didn't came home and clean myself up i'm ready to go back out because i got stuff to do but um I'm about to eat. I got me a grilled cheese sandwich from Starbucks earlier. I forgot to tell y'all that. And I need to put up these groceries that I picked up. Um, and maybe I just need to take it easy. I don't know. But in my mind, I'm like, no, I got stuff to do. <sighs> Girl.
this gonna be a funny ass look. I cannot believe I feel. I'm not taking this off. Y'all gonna see this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Watch when I tell my husband, girl. He gonna be like, what? What the? What was you doing? Rushing, trying to vlog, looking down, missed the curb. Girl, I was so embarrassed. I was debating if I was gonna get in my car and leave. And I was like, no. I got packages and stuff I need to pick up. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. Girl, I dust my little boots off. I done scuffed up my damn boots. <sighs> this vlog, it went... A totally different way so um i believe i have enough footage for this video so i'm gonna end this right here please like comment and subscribe um i hope this gave y'all a laugh i'm putting myself out there this is keeping up with passion this is this is you never know what you're gonna get there's some crazy stuff going on over here like comment and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of your girls uploads hey girl hey and i will see y'all in a I let you know your Oh, yeah.